right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric Ferris, you guys know me. Now, a lot of people ask me, what do we use when we're doing our filming, the equipment that we use, how do we edit, and all that stuff. So we thought we'd go ahead and take the time and give you a little tour of our control room and what we do in our recording stuff. So. Basically, the camera that we use is the Canon D60. We found that this camera all around just offers the most, even when we're taking pictures or for filming, it works really good. Now, for a long while, we were using just the standard lens that comes with the camera, but now we've gone ahead and we've upgraded and we're using the Tamron DI2 now. Now, this is a 17 to 50 millimeter lens. That's the one that we're actually filming this video with, so it's pretty damn clear, as you guys can see. We also use for our recording of our vocals and everything, you know, the audio, we use the thing for from Zoom. This is the H1. It's a very easy little handy cam thing. Well, it's not a handy cam. It's the handy little, you know, microphone thing. And it just sits on top of the room. You guys can't see it, but it's up here on top of my head. The camera moves up there. You guys will see it. It's up here. So that's it right there. So that's what we record everything on. So those are two of the really main things that we use. The lens that we've gotten now seems to work very good for wide angle and close up shots. So we're really happy with that lens. The one that came with the camera, it actually starts off at the higher millimeters in these. So we're actually not losing anything by buying. We're just gaining all the way up with this lens. So as far as editing goes, we use our Mac Pro in the background here for Tech of Tomorrow. You guys can see that in the background back there. And we always use a couple different programs when we're doing this type of stuff. Now, a lot of you guys always say, why don't we use a PC, this, that, and the other. Believe me, if we could use a PC, we would gladly do it. But we found that saving time, saving energy, and having the best tools available makes our day go by much smoother. So we use Macs. We use Final Cut Pro and we use Logic. You guys see back behind me is the Mac Pro. And then over here is the monitor. Now on the table back here, I'm kind of turning around so the sound will change a little bit. But here on the table back here, you guys can see these are our Yamaha monitors. These are studio reference monitors. You guys can see a link in the description if you guys are interested. I really like these the best. I mean, opinions may vary, but every engineer I've ever had to come over here and check this shit out and listen to it and see a room's like, hey, wow, that's really cool. It sounds great. So we're really happy with that. Um, over here, we have all of our audio interfaces. We have a lot of different stuff for our guitars and stuff because we write like most of all our music for our stuff. We use our Fractal. This is the Axe FX2. This is one of the main things we use for recording all the guitars and stuff like that. For bass and vocals and their compression and everything, we use this right here. This is the Universal Audio LA610. We use the Ensemble by Apogee. This is a great interface. You either buy this or you spend $10,000 and go all pro. So I'm like right in that little you know range between being super pro and pro, and that's where it's affordable. I'm not that rich. You guys think I am, but we save for years to buy these different pieces of equipment. Up here is our SAM amp. This is our bass like little thing for like recording heavy metal and bass and stuff. This little thing makes the really nice sound. On top, we've got the Monster Power, the Pro 2500. This is the power conditioner. We've got everything plugged into that. You know, that way everything works good. So there's some things that are hard to see, but if the cameraman, like he'll probably just take like a little spin in the room. He told me he took a lot of different pictures. You guys can see this is like the heart of everything. This entire room is completely soundproofed all the way around. All the walls have been sound insulated. We even accommodated for the window and the distance, so the window doesn't even cause any problem unless a truck is driving by or something, you know. But even then, it's rare. The room stays very, very quiet. So you guys see that all the way around. And then over here, in between over here, which we'll be showing you some other times, you guys have seen in some of the videos, is the window that leads into my vocal and guitar sound booth. So that's over there. The camera will swing back around to show you guys the room. As you can see, we have soundproof all the way around the entire room. which is pretty cool stuff. We were really happy. We wanted a home studio that could really kick ass and make great sounds. Now, everything from the pain cylinder to my songs to the benchmark song that all you guys love was recorded right here within this room in my house. So over here is my keyboard, my good old trusty Yamaha, my KX8. This thing's awesome. And these are all my different Fishman pedals. So if you want to try some different weird acoustic type stuff, you get some different sounds off of these. You guys will actually hear some of this type of effects when you hear the new song, Sunset Beach, which will be out in the next couple days. So that's it, folks. If you guys really want to know all this stuff, just look in the description below and it'll tell you all the different stuff that we use. I mean, 
We're really doing pretty good right now. We're really happy that you guys like us. Don't forget that we're also having the 30K sub contest. That is going on as well. We like to always constantly keep giving you guys stuff and we appreciate the love back. You guys have always asked, so we thought we'd bring it to you and show you how we do our stuff and what we do it with. So peace out. This has been a behind the scenes look at, hey, Tech of Tomorrow. And who does all the filming? Well, let's take a look real quick. This is Jesus. He's our cameraman, and uh, he's the guy who does all our filming and editing for Tech of Tomorrow, so say hi to him, and uh, we'll see you guys later.